Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 16th to the 22nd, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so very much for doing so. And just remember, the cards will tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. Let's begin. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Fantastic. Okay. So we are crowned here with a card that just popped out. This is the Ace of Cups, and I love this for you. The Ace of Cups is healing, beautiful love. It's a gift from God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe. Now, do note that this can mean that this week is you're a lot more sensitive than you want to be. There's kind of like this tough exterior that we put on, but at the heart, there's there's a gentleness. You can also need a really good cry. Also with the Ace of Cups, you know, it's the cup runneth over type of deal. But when it's inside, it's it's getting rid of all the stagnant emotional energy that we hold on to and the cup runneth over. And so it can run over through tears. It can run over through, you know, just really intense emotions. So being aware of that during this time is going to be so important to, to be mindful of. It moves us then to the two of swords. Okay, so we're stubborn. <laughs> Just noting that with the two of swords, we are going to be stubborn. We're going to say, I want it this way. It needs to be just like this. And, you know, that's one way of doing it. We can very much get what we want and push things forward. But also releasing that stubbornness can be very beneficial to us, very helpful. It moves us then to the queen of pentacles, the queen of earth. That is us. We are represented by the pentacles by earth in the major in the minor arcana and this is this is a time where we are embracing our prosperity our tenacity we are also fantastic growers okay so taurus i wouldn't be surprised if you have a green thumb and it is it is also a sense of i know the seeds that i'm planting and i know how i am moving forward towards what i want and the queen of pentacles especially is the nurturer of the seeds, the nurturer of the ideas. You can sit on something for years, Taurus, and then once you have it all set up, just as just as you have as you have seen it, you you move forward with such success and such prosperity and such you know, like I got this that you surprise people. You you even surprise yourself. So during this time with the Queen of Pentacles, embracing the nurturing of the seeds, the nurturing of what you want and how you want to move things forward. Also with the queen of, of pentacles, looking at your prosperity, your success, your bounty, what you want in life and dressing for success. That's always going to be, I always pause on that, but for spirit, that is so important for us to dress for success and to really see and portray ourselves as prosperous beings because we are always of the earth. We are earth sign energy. And so being that prosperous being on the earth is going to be so important. With the six of, of pentacles, this is a time that we need things to be in balance and we need to state and see and understand the balance within us, the balance that we want from our lives, the balance that, you know, where things are out of balance, we're also going to be very aware of that and pulling things back into balance. With the eight of pentacles, we are hardworking, we are diligent, we are determined, we are very successful. This is a very successful week. So if you are wondering, you know, is this a good week to to get things done, to to push things forward? It absolutely is. We then have the page of pentacles. And I laugh because not only are we like the master of the situation, right? with the queen of pentacles the queen being one of the highest the king is the highest court card but the queen is is right there right with the with the page of pentacles there's the sense of yes i am the master of this i i'm it's kind of like think of martial arts right you have the master that you learn from but you are also the student so you are the teacher and you are the student at the exact same time and there's a power tenacity brilliance to you that's going to be coming out during this time because of this. You are also connecting with your inner child in a very loving, very healing way. And there's a sense of what do I want to move forward in? Like, how do I want to move things forward? What do I want to go after? You know, where is it that I want to be? We can do the inner child meditation, taking a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. And seeing yourself as the adult you are now, 
holding your arms open to the child that you once were and let the child run into your arms and and say to that kid i love you we are prosperous we are bountiful we succeed and there's just a sense of of jubilation now it might not be in the way that you thought you would succeed right but there is a power prosperity and abundance to you that's coming forward during this time and it's setting you apart from the rest which is a very beautiful thing it moves us to our spirit message angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides here we have breathe reverse we have a tendency to hold our breath during this time or to you know get really caught up in things and not calm and center ourselves so when spirit has breath reverse not that we're not breathing right because that would be that would be bad but breathe reverse is a sense of i'm i'm shallow breathing i hold a lot of stress i'm holding a lot of stress in my shoulders i i need to step back i need to breathe and i need to see me and help move me forward and that is going to be a very important thing and a very powerful thing to make sure that we take time to focus on our breath to focus on ourselves to focus on the way that we move forward in our lives. It moves us then to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. This is grounding. So we can feel a little bit up in the air right now, which is not something that we as earth sign energy like at all. We like to be very grounded. So connecting with the earth star chakra can be something that's very sacred to us. And here we're grounding reversed. We can have this energy of, you know, I don't know where I belong or I'm questioning. I feel unrooted. I feel like so many things are up in the air. And this is going to be a time where we need to focus on grounding ourselves, but also what do I need in order to grow and to prosper? So that's going to be a very big thing as well. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is Freyalt Reverse. So this is temperance energy. Temperance energy is representative of Sagittarius. So time frame November 22nd to December 21st. That can be a tricky time for us. It could be a tricky time in our calendar somewhere along the way that left a residual mark with Sagittarius energy as well with Freyalt temperance. It's all about balance. We're going to see things that are out of balance, but we are also going to have to say the truth to us. This is what I want to build. This is how I need to move forward. This is what is true for me. And we're going to, to need to kind of like, you know, say things out loud to ourselves. And it's going to be very freeing. It's like, this is my truth because we're done with the liars. We're done with the liars and the manipulators. So being aware of that is going to be a very big deal for us. Again, with the Ace of Cups, healing, beautiful love coming in. There can be sensitivity during this time, most definitely. There can be a sense also of emotionally, like wanting to take care of things or or needing everything to be just so. This can be a little bit of a messy time. All right, I'm just seeing like it can be a little bit of a messy time because you are feeling so much. So you might need to be able to step back and just calm and center yourself and and look at the feelings and be like okay am i feeling from for for other people like am i taking on their burdens am i feeling for my heart for myself for what i desire in my life we are going to be stubborn but we also have a really big plan for what we want but we need to have some yeah some mutability to us some some ebb and flow and that is going to be a very important thing with the two of swords there, there is a sense of getting very stuck. We can get very stuck in one way and that can actually make everything really, really difficult because we can feel emotionally very anxious, very overwhelmed and we, we want it to work one way and spirit saying here, step back, breathe, look because you're going to, to find that certain things are out of balance. There's something that you think is true. It's not necessarily true and that is going to be important to look at here and say, okay, how do I have this ebb and this flow, this ease, this, this coming together. So look at, we need to look at the things right now, Taurus, that we are being really stubborn with. All right. And it's like, it has to be just like this and step back, look at it a different way, because you're going to find that it becomes a lot more freeing like that. 
with the queen of pentacles prosperity success bounty abundance but it's nurturing our seeds it's nurturing what i want to build and what i am moving towards in my life right now it is also seeing yourself as successful as powerful as determined as focused and really looking at how you are building what you want from your life and this is also a time that you're being really serious about things you're saying okay this is what i want that's what I don't want. This is how I'm moving forward. This is what I, I do not want to bother with or, you know, contend with. And that is going to be very important as well. With the six of pentacles, this is going to be a time for a give and a take, but also make sure you're getting paid, you know, properly for what you're doing. Make sure that there is a balance to things. Make sure that you're not being taken advantage of during this time. You have a lot of power to you. You might not be you might not be the one who can see it right now, right? Other people will see it to you. Like you're a queen. Of course you are. Like they'll be like, of course you are this force. And you yourself will be looking at it and be like, oh, I'm not there yet. So just be very mindful. We can also be very hypercritical of ourselves during this time. The Eight of Pentacles, hardworking, diligent, determined, focused, insightful. You are embracing that energy with, with tenacity. And that is something to be really, really proud of. Now with the Page of Pentacles, this is going to be a time where you are a student, where you are learning, where you are gaining an understanding, where you are looking at things differently. And also like letting yourself be curious, giving yourself permission, Taurus, to be curious, to ask questions, to dive deeper, to say, I don't know. And this can also be a time where you find yourself really moving towards your destiny, moving towards your bounty, your abundance, your your success. And this is this is a time where you can it's almost like it's almost like you have to be really bad at something before you're really good at it. So you're entering into this queen of, of pentacles time during this week, right? But you're also going to be a student. And what is a student? A student learns from the very beginning and moves their way forward. And so you could be learning things from the very beginning and you're, you might be kind of like, you know, rubbish at things. It's like, oh my gosh, how do I get this moving forward? Like, you know, I stink at this. But but stay, give yourself the humility to be a beginner. Give yourself the grace to be a beginner and stay with it. Stay with it because you're going to find that you move forward in such an astounding, beautiful way that it surprises you. It moves us then to our subconscious spirit message, which is family reversed. This can be a time where we really kind of just need to take care of ourselves, you know, Family is important, but with family reversed, it can be, you know, I don't want that responsibility right now. It doesn't mean that we <laughs> run away from our responsibilities, right? But just knowing that we we need to be a little bit more selfish this week, taking care of our responsibilities, super important. But also reconnecting with family can also be a very important thing for us, having those roots, having that connection. But I do see us as needing a little bit of independence. I just see kind of like a cat walking. And and that's like, I need, I need my independence. I, I know where it is I need to be, like not know where it is I need to be for me, but I know that I need to be doing things for me. It's going to be very important. Kind of like a cat. Kind of like, I got this. Our subconscious chakra message is, is the solar plexus chakra. This is self-discipline. And no, this is self-mastery. And this is a real sense with this reverse. We can have a lot of questions about ourselves. Like we can be, we can be questioning our gut reactions to things, our guts. We can be thinking, oh my gosh, I don't, you know, I don't have good instincts. And that's not true. It's that we have to listen to our instincts, listen to ourselves, listen to what we are building, what we want, like kind of looking at the bigger picture of where we want to be for us. But working on a solar plexus blockage is going to be a very important thing. It moves us then to the energy to be mindful of, which is the Ace of Cups. And we did see that with the Ace of Cups here is that it can bring a lot of sensitivity. So Spirit is saying, you know, we we can have this energy come to us and we can be completely overwhelmed by it. We can be completely like, you know, feel almost chained by our emotions, feel overwhelmed, doubting, you know, questioning. And this is going to be a really good time for us to to sit in in reverence and quiet with our emotions. We also have, you know, during this time, right, we have the summer solstice coming, we have the full moon, so emotions can run high and everything can be intensified. So showing ourselves that grace, too, is going to be a very important thing. And 
and knowing that we feel deeply and not letting others knowing not not letting others manipulate us because nobody says oh i'm going to be manipulated but it's like not being taken advantage of because you are going to feel this time so deeply and so intensely our subconscious tarot message here is the page of wands and this is the page of wands reverse we can have a bit of a temper we can kind of want to have a bit of a temper tantrum during this time just being aware of this we can have a fire sign energy in our lives in aries a leo a sagittarius that is frustrating us this can be child energy most definitely this can just be somebody who's very immature and during this time there there needs to be a sense of what am i passionate about and what do i want to build and that is going to be very important for us and that is going to be very beautiful for us what is it that i desire in my life now because we need to connect with our inner child again we can do the inner child you know meditation with visualizing that child running into our arms and saying your passions matter you matter your your fire your determination is a beautiful part of who you are and a part that i revere and it's revering that fire that passion within us because when we don't revere it when we don't accept ourselves for who we are or how we are we can we can just get frustrated with it we can be like oh my gosh you know and we can feel like nobody sees us or yeah like invisible we can feel invisible and and then we can we can get really angry so just being aware of that is going to be a very important thing all right all right taurus i hope this reading has resonated with you i wish you nothing but light love peace and happiness may harmony always be with you i am sending loving healing energy to each and every one of you i love you all and stay safe let's end this reading with a meditation a clearing away of negative energy a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power intensity and beauty of this time and of ourselves so oh and please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound so take a nice deep breath in exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Taurus. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.